Hey there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And for this layout I'm using the 49er Market Range Spectrum Gardenia. So I've chosen a background paper and it's the B-side of the Painted Foundations pinwheel. I've taken the uh, manufacturer strip off and I've turned it on its side, well 90 degrees. I've chosen two photos which are not black and white but their main colours are black and white that I want to uh, scrap on this layout and I decided I really like the look of the sentiments rub-ons so I'm actually going to showcase them on this layout. So just using a pair of scissors I'm cutting out the words that I think I fancy and I'm cutting them out with the backing still attached uh, because I'm not too sure where I want to place them, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to use all the words I'm cutting out, I'm just looking at their placement at the moment so um, I, in case I have to go put them back in the packet, I'm keeping the backing uh, intact. So I really like the way the colours run down this piece of paper. I've turned it to get the red at the bottom. I think for some reason that red is brighter, so I prefer that at the lower end. Uh, there are some tiny bits of text on the background, but um, by the time I've finished, I don't think you really notice them. Um, and I'm picking out any of the phrases that I think go with these two photographs. I've chosen the word joy at the minute. Uh, that will get changed later on, but um, I'll explain as we go along. But I do like that word amazing. I think that will definitely make the cut. So I want to add some detail to the background. So I pick out some sewing machine cottons that I like the look at and I do a little trial run. Uh, I'll come to that in just a moment and I decide to sew on the background. So these are just sewn over the paint splodges, uh, just a zigzaggy, it's a straight stitch but I've just gone backwards and forwards uh, just to add some texture and I've decided I'm going to use two of the black frames from this set to go behind the photographs. So I've, the photos are there just to give me an idea while I reposition the rub-ons. So I, I showed you that I did a little bit of a practice. I wanted to make sure that if I did some sewing with the machine, the rub-ons would go over the top. And they do, and you'll watch me do that when I get these words. Um, and I've always had a soft spot for the rub-ons from 49er Market. I think they're absolutely phenomenal. I've used them with a number of their ranges in the last few years, and I've never had some, any problems at all. But I wasn't sure, this is the first time I've actually put it over machine sewing and it's over quite a lot of sewing and it doesn't make any difference to them, they go down beautifully. So what I did is I took the word colour from the um, rub-on sheet and I actually rubbed one day, half the word down and then sewed over the top, which worked perfectly. Then I actually sewed uh, an area, then I rubbed down the other half of the word over that. Just as a bit of trial and error because sometimes you don't want to use the stuff that um, you really like. I knew I wouldn't use colour in that spelling ways um, so I, I thought it was the best way just to trial it and it worked both ways so I decided I'd do the stitching first then I'd go over the top of it with the rub on. So I'm very happy with the way that's looking. Obviously without the backing on they don't look as white so some of the colour from beneath is coming through but also the black splodges around them are standing out as well which is great which is why I picked these photographs to go with all the black and white. Now I'm going to be honest, the sewing did take me the best part of an afternoon, but I do think it's a major part of this layout. Uh, you might be a much quicker scrapper than me, and sewer for that matter, but actually I quite enjoy the process, so I'm happy with how much time it takes. So now that all the rub-ons in position, I don't feel that this layout needs too much more. I'm definitely going to use the frames uh, behind the two photographs, so just so that makes them stand out and pop a little bit more. So it's time to stick these down. So I'm just going to use a little bit of foam uh, pads to stick the frame to the back of the photo and then onto the layout. I'm going to tuck this one under the word together. I'm keeping the photograph straight but the uh, frame is at a bit of an angle. Uh, I was just confirming that frame was exactly the same size. Uh, these photos are about that are just a bit smaller than three by four and I'm going to tuck that in at the end of the word amazing and they're stuck down so I brought in some of the uh, bits of the rub-ons that are left over they're just lit some little dots I don't waste any bits and I'm going to add some of these around the edges of the words just onto the planar cardstock just to um, I, 
basically I was thinking of doing some black ink splatters so that's where my mind was going and then I decided that actually if the black ink splatters got on the threads and they wouldn't be circular they'd seep into the the cotton of the thread and they could actually look a bit messy and because I'd spent quite a bit of time and energy uh, and enjoyment making the background I didn't want to do that so by actually using a few more rub-ons I, I gave the impression of a few splatters around the edge. So I brought in two more words, they're from the chipboard set that says remember and here and now and I've picked the colours that they're near. I've also added just a little bit of embellishment to both of the photo clusters uh, with some information about the photos. So thank you so much for watching, check out the full range at Hey Little Magpie, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see and we hope to see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.